Do the pod. An exciting segment of grand high school students sitting in this is his class. Episode I have one. Introducing Justin Ochoa, our comedic value of the show. Sean Riel, our musical genius and film producer. And our special guest, Corey Gowan, who is now recently returning to us from Canada. Corey Gowan? How was it out there, Corey? It was actually kind of hot there. Well, for Canada. Did you see any meese? Meese? You know, plural for moose. Meeses. Is it serious? Well, that moose was plural for moose. <laughs> no, no, what else? Meese. A flock of meese. What else? Could you imagine? Could you imagine mooses flying through? <laughs> <laughs> like Bowingo, man. Yeah. Rocky and Bowingo is much funnier than that. Uh, is that like cat and mouse? Jerry? Tom and Jerry. Uh, like, the only thing that came popular. out of Tom and Jerry was that the person that was watching Tom and Jerry named the kid Jerry who to be a Jerry Springer. Yeah? I'm Jerry Seinfeld. Jerry Seinfeld. That's a show about nothing. They gotta love that show. It's almost as good as a pot. <laughs> Yeah, like that Kramer fella. I remember, not to be anti-Semitic, it just kind of killed it. It kind of killed the point of watching Seinfeld when I found out they were Jewish. Comedians don't belong to religion. Most of them don't. Not to be anti-Semitic. How could you not know he was a Jew? I didn't know they were Jewish. <laughs> How could you not know that? It makes sense now. No, it's not funny. <laughs> not to be anti-Semitic. Shut up there. It's a world around, okay? We're obviously not going to put that on the internet. Because YouTube doesn't like that. Well, YouTube doesn't give a shit, okay? <laughs> and I excuse my anti-Semitic comments, because I really love Jews. On that fact, did you know Google bought out YouTube? Meaning that we only have 10 minutes of this show. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Our next topic for today is haircuts. Corey. I give her a haircut. Michael Erickson. And Justin Ochoa is... I think I'm gonna shave it. Gonna so, maybe about next you. episode, just be a really big bald guy. What do they call it? Chopping your hair off. Because it's, it's like, like this. Because it hurts. Well, it, it's like every time you think chopping hair off, you think like some poacher's sticking your hand on the table. That's why. Well, when you get like a little trim, you don't call it you chopping it off. If you do like a drastic thing, like I did. Well, four inches. That's like four. You got eight. That's like six. That's four. Four. <laughs> You should know, Justin. Look down. No, no. <laughs> now it is time for our segment um, of the bean trees. Today, we will have groups presenting posters of uh, different chapters of this book. Over the ultimate test of endurance and grades. Now the entire group should be moving to the right. Uh, as you can see, she thinks her life sucks. That's showing turtles growth, her progression. This is when they assign her name. After she got Melissa, she got mad. I thought that would show that we have on the internet. A symbolic turtle. So Justin said she got molested by an Indian man. <laughs> I like the way the letters are spelled. What are you guys doing? A movie? <laughs> As you can tell, we have many camera shy people in this class. Unlike ourselves. Unlike Experienced ourselves. professionals. And Missy's. <laughs> Nicholas Catan, British extraordinaire. <laughs> Hi, I'm Michael Erickson, and welcome to an exciting segment of the pod called Ivy Asks. Which is better, pouring milk before the cereal or pouring the cereal before the milk? Alright, guys, which is better, pouring milk before the cereal or pouring cereal before the milk? I like this. Cereal before milk. Milk after this part of cereal. Cereal first. Cereal first. Because then you can judge how much milk you put in. You don't Which is better, pouring cereal first or milk first? Cereal. Jane? Dude, totally make <laughs> cereal with <laughs> milk. Just put the cereal in the bowl and you put the milk. So the milk covers the cereal and moisturizes everything. Everyone makes so much fun because the milk. Oh, milk. I do milk first. You know, it kind of depends on the texture of the cereal. I agree with that. It all depends on the texture of the cereal as well. Milk before cereal or cereal? Cereal and then the milk. Uh, definitely. Which is better, putting milk before cereal or cereal before milk? Well, I uh, <laughs> cereal. I, I like a little rum in my cereal, so I use, I use rum. You pour that first or the cereal? I pour the rum first, and then I just drink the rum. I don't really like cereal. <laughs> 
Statistics show more people like Honey Nut Cheerios better than Cheerios. This has been an exciting segment of IDS. Alright, so let's see. First movie rating, Harold and Kumar. Well, let me just Escape say there was a lot of... Uh, you can call them tatas. Pot smoking? No. I thought it was better than the first. It was fantastic. There's a lot of pop culture references. <laughs> the innuendos and uh, the implications were top notch. Hey, can you uh, explain this sound with a lot of reference? Do you have a pen? <laughs> no. I happen to do have a pen. I actually don't have a pen today. <laughs> Maybe Michael can. Oh, uh... oh shit. It's Chloe John, so just take a second to um, remember the Fallen Brothers. <laughs> Let me see it. I have to laugh. What kind of picture is that? That's a very small penis. I can't, I can't really see the penis. It looks like a whole mess of scribbles. Your artistic value is really bad. Okay, so that's why you should see the Bottoms up. I don't know. I'd give it a sideways. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> I've seen the Forbidden Kingdom. I haven't seen that. Somebody gets urinated on. It's pretty intense. Yeah. Jet Li pees on Jackie Chan. Yeah. That's exactly. I know. I doubt that it's real pee though. It's probably like out. Obviously. The whole movie is one big fight. And then with a little bit of pee break in there, it's really bad. <laughs> Being on that, have you guys ever seen 24? This Simpsons joke reference, but do you guys ever see him take a, take a bathroom break? No. He goes the entire day, he doesn't eat a sandwich, he doesn't take a bathroom break. And you, you never you never see him like, like oh, Actually, I gotta go, I gotta go to Carper. <laughs> because he only has 24 hours. <laughs> But in those 24 hours, he needs water, he needs Gatorade, he needs to take a shit. Why Gatorade, though? He's got the electrolytes to keep him going. Why not Powerade? Did you ever realize that he doesn't sleep ever? My sister's going to Powerade. How? I don't know, she gave her some Powerade when she was a kid, she started brandishing up like a thing. You want to know what I don't get about 24 is he never sleeps. He's always away. He never sleeps. Alright, folks, now we have Sean Real, our musical guest. That's it for this week's episode of The Pod. But before we go, it's time for a good old fashioned Miss Season Second. There's nothing in my brain.